The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Evinrude makes a lot of claims with their E-Tech series of engines. This is the 25 E-Tech. We're going to hook up our test gear and put it through its paces. For Botest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We have the Evinrude E-Tech 25 bolted to the transom of an Alumacraft V16 with a length overall of 16 feet 9 inches and a beam of 5 feet 10 inches. Our test weight was around 949 pounds. The Evinrude E-Tech 25 pushed our Alumacraft V16 up to 28.1 miles an hour while running at 5550 RPMs. This translates to a 2.6 gallon per hour fuel burn and 10.91 miles per gallon. That'll give us a range of 59 miles. At 4,500 RPM, we had a more economical cruise of 21.4 miles per hour, burning 1.4 gallons per hour, which translates to 14.8 miles per gallon. There are several things I like about the Evinrude E-Tech 25. The tiller mount is very comfortable. It's infinitely adjustable. There's a control lock underneath so you can adjust the height of the tiller. So you can set it for whatever is comfortable for you. And you can see right under here, there's a release for bringing the tiller up and down. It locks into position. You have to release it to bring it back down. Start and stop. Simply push to stop, push to start. Throttle adjustment, micro RPM adjustment. Each hit will bring it up about 20 RPMs or down 20 RPMs. Very convenient feature, especially when you're trying to nail those RPMs for fuel readings. Shift right on top of the tiller. And I couldn't help but notice that the shifting is smooth and quiet. What I really like, the trim switch right on the end of the tiller, because when you're operating the boat and you start putting it into high turns, it's very easy to just put the trim back down. When you get up on planing speed, bring the trim back up a little bit, all right at your thumb. The kill lanyard, Right on the right hand side next to the start button, the steering adjustment, there's a tension adjustment right underneath. You can set it for firm or for easy. And that's a very convenient feature to have when you're at speed because it'll counter the torque effect of the propeller. So all these adjustments are very easy to make throughout the whole operating parameters of the engine. I find that there's an awful lot to like about the Evinrude E-Tech 25. It's a very easy and convenient engine to operate. Very nice acceleration. And of course, with the tension set the way you want, steering as easy as you'd like. Evinrude tells us that due in part to the use of Nasaloy and the overall design and engineering, that they can guarantee no scheduled maintenance for three years or 300 hours. Now, I want to take a noise reading without any wind factor whatsoever, so we'll do it right here at the dock. 65. 83 at 2600, 93 at 32, 92. well that's our test of the Evinrude E-Tech 25. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve, we'll see you on the water.